What does it mean to truly set a goal? Well, it's more than just stating an ambition. It's about carving out a clear, detailed vision of what you want to achieve. Just as a traveler wouldn't set out without a destination in mind, you shouldn't embark on your journey without a well-defined objective. Let's imagine you're an artist and your goal is to paint. That's a start, but it's vague. What type of painting? What medium? Do you want to master a particular style? When do you want to finish your masterpiece? These are the questions that transform a vague ambition into a smart goal. Specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Instead of saying, I want to paint, your smart goal could be, I want to complete a 20 by 20 inch impressionist oil painting of my local park by the end of summer. Now, that's a goal with a vision, one that offers a roadmap for your journey. Remember, a well-defined goal is the compass that guides your journey. Now that you have your goal, where do you start? With research and resource gathering, of course, this step is crucial as it lays the groundwork for your journey towards your goal. Imagine trying to assemble a jigsaw puzzle without the picture on the box. Difficult, right? That's what embarking on a journey without proper research feels like. The internet is a treasure trove of information, an unlimited library right at your fingertips. It offers tutorials, articles and videos on almost any subject you can think of. But don't stop there. Seek guidance from experts in your field of interest. Books, courses, seminars, these are all resources that can deepen your understanding and refine your approach. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you know about your goal, the better equipped you are to tackle it. So, dive deep into research, gather your resources, and equip yourself with the necessary tools for success. Armed with knowledge and resources, you're ready to take on any task. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. This adage reminds us that tackling big tasks can feel daunting, much like trying to eat an entire elephant. But when we break down these mammoth tasks into smaller, bite-sized pieces, they become much more manageable. Consider your goal as a jigsaw puzzle. Trying to piece it together all at once can be overwhelming. However, if you sort the pieces by colors, edges and patterns, you can start to form smaller sections. Gradually, these sections come together to complete the picture. Just as with a puzzle, breaking your goal into smaller tasks allows you to create a step-by-step -step plan. This strategy not only makes the process less intimidating, but also provides a sense of accomplishment as you check off each task. It's like climbing a mountain. Focus on one step at a time, and before you know it, you'll reach the summit. By breaking it down, even the largest tasks become conquerable. Time. It's the one resource we all have the same amount of, yet some seem to have more. This isn't a magic trick or a result of some cosmic imbalance. It's simply a reflection of effective time management. Managing your time is like being the conductor of your own orchestra, harmonizing all your tasks to create a symphony of productivity. One way to do this is by prioritizing tasks based on their importance and urgency. Think of it as arranging your to-do list into a hierarchy, where tasks that are crucial and time-sensitive take the lead. Another technique is the Pomodoro Technique, named after a tomato-shaped kitchen timer. This involves working intensely for a set duration, typically 25 minutes, then taking a short five-minute break. This cycle continues with longer breaks every four cycles. This method helps maintain focus and productivity, preventing burnout. With effective time management, every second counts towards your goal. Failure, the dreaded F word, but is it really that bad? Let's shift our perspective a bit. Failure, in fact, is an inevitable part of any journey. We all stumble, we all fall, but it's not the fall that defines us. Rather, it's how we rise after that fall that shapes our path. Instead of viewing failure as a dead end, let's consider it an opportunity, a chance to learn and improve. When we trip up, it gives us a chance to analyze what went wrong. Was it our approach? Was it our preparation? Or was it something entirely out of our control? Whatever it may be, this analysis helps us adjust our strategy, fine-tune our methods, and ultimately grow stronger. So, the next time you stumble on your path, remember it's not a sign of defeat, it's a sign of growth. Failure isn't the end, it's just another stepping stone towards success. So, can you really do anything? 
Absolutely, if you approach it with the right mindset, a strategic plan and an unwavering resilience. It all begins with defining your objective, making it as specific, measurable, achievable, relevant and time-bound as possible. This gives you a clear roadmap for your journey. Next, arm yourself with knowledge by researching and gathering resources. The internet, experts, books and courses are all invaluable sources of information. Then, break your goal down into smaller, more achievable tasks. Create a step-by-step -step plan to keep yourself organized and motivated. Time management is also key. Prioritize your tasks, allocate specific time blocks for focused work, and use techniques like the Pomodoro technique to keep your productivity levels high. And remember, failure is not the end, it's a learning opportunity. Embrace it, analyze it, learn from it, and persist. The journey is as important as the destination, and the skills you acquire along the way contribute to your personal growth. Set ambitious goals and embark on the path of doing anything with confidence and purpose.